What's going on YouTube Snipes here with TKO Gaming bringing you guys another video here on Blind Watch Trials of Osiris. We're going to be talking about some new techniques that you guys can use as well. Plus, I'm going to talk to you guys about this new meta. We're going to be running some statistics and telling you guys how this new weapon and class balance change has affected this game and why I think that it's the worst thing that could happen to Trials of Osiris. Now, before we get into that, you know, you guys know we usually do a giveaway every video, but since I just came out with our trial strategy video and we're doing a giveaway of $25 Amazon gift card on that video, for this one, all you have to do is like this one and go and like that one. And what I'll do is I'll make sure to pick a winner that liked both this video and the last video. And honestly, guys, if you guys see a video from TKO Gaming, drop that like button because it really does help a lot. And I'm telling you guys, we're going to grow the family that way. And if you want anything Destiny related, make sure you subscribe because that's how we also pick the winner you got to be a subscriber buddy anyways so here you guys know that the weapon has changed the meta has changed now we are looking at more than 52 percent of kills in trials of osiris are with sidearms and not only that but sidearms are the only thing that carry special ammo to the next round but you're like snipes it doesn't matter every round you spawn with ammo i know even if you have no ammo it shit spawns with freaking ammo. And then if you have extra special ammo, you carry it over to the next round. It's crazy. I don't know what the heck they were thinking when they did that. What it does is it removes other options. That's all it does. Like, I'm not too pissed about it being sidearms. I think sidearms do take a decent amount of skill and some are overpowered over others. But it removes options in the game and it's like dude we just can't have that and yeah as you guys see on the screen i'm about to do some cool clutchness as a 1v3 and my, if you guys want to know like what was going through my mentality or how i even came about doing this 1v3 clutch you guys can watch the trial strategy video that's what i talk about in those videos in this video i want to talk to you guys about why this change is bad for trials of osiris it encourages camping not only that it also encourages you using scories because it's such a slow paced game type now you guys can't really get long range kills the icebreaker is a good weapon but guys there's only one minute and 30 seconds in a trials of osiris round you get one bullet in the icebreaker per eight seconds you have special ammo that spawns in 30 seconds and honestly icebreaker is not the best sniper rifle to use it's just straight up facts that's what it is so I gotta tell you guys, I'm not too happy. I don't think that Trials of Osiris should have been affected. I'm okay with the regular Crucible being the way it is, but I don't think they should, you know, move the same exact settings to Trials. I just don't, I don't get it. In my opinion, I don't think that Trials should have been affected at all. However, I do feel as though they should remove some glitches out of Trials of Osiris. I also feel as though they should remove memory of scories outside of trials it should be okay outside of trials but never inside trials it's just a very cheap way for people to win when you have to resort to just your super and charging it up and honestly classes like the golden gun are so much more viable now which is okay it's a good thing but that super with gunfighter charges so fast and with scories um for anybody that doesn't know i'm probably giving you guys ideas right now and you guys are probably gonna go out and do it don't do it god damn it all right do not do this but I'm telling you guys, I don't like it. You know, the way I would approach this trials for the time being is I would start off with my regular build, like a hand cannon sniper rifle, any sniper, because you have special. Every consecutive round, I would either switch to a sidearm or I would do no land beyond and sidearm. Uh, no land beyond being the range sniper that you need. Plus, you can res snipe off of that as well. Uh, I don't like it. It also causes, you know, for changing weapons left and right. I think for heavy ammo round, especially on this map, I would switch to a pulse rifle or scout rifle for the range. Um, and once again, guys, I don't like it. You know, it, it makes trials a little bit more complicated. I, I like the fact that there's more primary battles, but then, as you know, people are just going to resort to double stickies, warlocks. That's pretty much it. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Make sure you guys subscribe and follow us on Twitter at RealTKO Gaming. Everything is in the description below for everything you need to know. Peace.